Ladies and gentlemen, right now our stand-up performer is all the way from the shores of Queensland. She's performing her show as part of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival called Buttle and Buttle. She won the Best Newcomer. Sorry, she was nominated for Best Newcomer at last year's Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Please welcome the very funny Mel Buttle. I, uh, this, uh, to get on this show, I was like, God, who do you have to fuck to get on Studio A? And they're like, Tommy Little. I was like, I'll do it! Um, <laughs> <so> <laughs> that's just a bit of housekeeping. Um, no, look, I, uh, I'm, actually, I'm actually an only child. And it really sucks being an only child and knowing that you're not the favourite. That's, that's tough. Get a lot of phone calls. I'm like, hey, Mum, it's me. It's your favourite daughter. No, you're my only daughter. It's a different thing. Jeez. Uh, She's supportive. Uh, um, so, uh, but I do live in a weird situation. I should tell you where I live in this sort of this weird thing. I live in a share house with a 61-year-old guy, and what we share is his money because he's my dad. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about my dad. My dad, he recently turned 61, and it was his birthday, so I took him to a Japanese restaurant because he's never ever ever been before, right? And I wanted to take him to an environment in which he'd be incredibly uncomfortable because I hate him. So it's good. So <laughs> we um, we went to this Japanese restaurant, and he wasn't coping. He wasn't coping with the environment at all. And he was like, "Excuse me, excuse me, I'm going to need a fork. I'm going to need a fork. Excuse me, can I have a fork, please?" And he, he kept asking his waitress for a fork, and she just kept forgetting, right? And on the fourth go, he snapped. He goes, "Excuse me, you, yes, come here, you, you have forgotten to give me a fork four times. You do not have very good memoirs for a geisha." <laughs> oh. All right. I do that in Queensland and they go, yep, and they just wait for the punchline. Uh, <laughs> but I, uh, I should tell you this story. Uh, when I was little, when I was seven, I was on the, uh, on the inter-school swimming team. Uh, no, hold the applause, it'd be embarrassing. Because um, I, I, I was quite good at swimming as a child. I learned to swim when I was two and a half. Not even Asian, not even. Yep, yeah, cool. Is this? Yeah. And, uh, so I was, I was pretty good, and uh, the, the year two swimming carnival came around. This was the inter-school swimming carnival. Now let's, let's go back, let's learn. Um, inter, now that is Latin for bus trip. Yeah, write that down. So, uh, so we, went o we went over to, a, uh, to another school, we did the swimming carnival. Now, what happened just before the last race of the day? It was the boys' 4 by 50 metre freestyle relay. What happened was, uh, was the fastest boy, Kent Fanning, he cut his foot right before the race and he couldn't swim in the race because he's what we call a soft cock. <laughs> so, uh, and now my dad was there that day and dad was like, oh, he went down to the teacher's like, why don't you, uh, why don't you put Belinda in the race? She's the uh, fastest girl with a boy's haircut, pop her in. Uh, <laughs> like Ian Thorpe, oh, cheeky. Um, <laughs> And uh, the teacher's like, I don't know if we can do that. I don't know if we can put a girl in a boy's race. I don't think the points will count. Dad goes, no, 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 pop her in as a boy. Dad's like, I'm gonna come here, go and put Kent Fanning's Speedos on. So I'm in the change room, I put on Kent's togs, right? My first thought is, great, now I'm pregnant, excellent. <laughs> now I'm swimming for two. By the time I got to the, the marshalling area, I was in the marshalling area, I decided I was gonna call it either Jeremy or Jordan. Hmm, it's the 90s. So, um, <laughs> so I'm on the blocks, I'm about to swim the race, and here's a, here's a little known fact. In year two, my cock was really tiny. It was really <laughs> So embarrassing. So, uh, <laughs> so I swim the race. I swim the race, and I win the race. Right? We win overall. The school wins. Yay! But the real winner, gender confusion. That's that's the. One. Uh, but you can tell. You can tell my dad had been to Bangkok. He's like Melinda, whatever, boy, girl, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Get in the pool. So, but. Uh, Kids these days, they think they've got it really tough. They think they've got it really tough. They're like, oh, my dad, my dad, I yelled at the umpire at, at Auskick. Oh, really? Really, yeah. My dad made me cross-dress. Suck it up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Mel Buttle. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mel Buttle. Coming little. You can catch her comedy festival show, Buttle and Buttle, all the way up to the end of the comedy festival at the Melbourne Town Hall. Check it out at comedyfestival.com.au. Don't go anywhere. We're back. Take us out tonight. Music from Mass Colt. Please get it up. Mel Buttle, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.